This mosquito is infected with a malaria parasite. Because she is pregnant, she has become hungry for human blood. During the bite, she injects saliva to stop the blood from clotting. Her infected saliva also carries the malaria parasite. The parasite rides the bloodstream like a network of roads, seeking its first target, the core of your body's blood system, the liver. Sensing its arrival at the liver, the parasite searches for an exit. A sentinel Kupfer cell is the entry point to liver tissue. Leaving the blood, the parasite infects a liver cell, killing one or more other cells on its way. Over the next few days, the parasite undergoes hundreds of nuclear divisions, copying its DNA over and over again. A single infected liver cell can create thousands of new parasites. The next generation of parasites are modified to infect a new target. red blood cells. Inside a red blood cell, the parasite can hide from the body's immune system. The parasite slowly devours the contents of the infected cell and creates more parasites. The infected cell be sticky and sticks onto blood vessel walls. Once mature, the infected cell bursts, spreading more parasites through the bloodstream. Malaria victims suffer fever, loss of blood, convulsions, brain dam and coma. This year, 10% of people on Earth will be struck dead with malaria. Countless millions have been killed by it. Most people who die from the disease are pregnant women and children under the age of five. Mosquitoes are usually vegetarian, preferring to drink nectar, fruit juice, and honeydew. Only a pregnant mosquito will bite humans, seeking nutrients from blood to nourish her developing eggs. If she drinks blood from someone infected with malaria, she too becomes infected with the disease. The tiny drop of blood filling the insect's stomach is teeming with malaria parasites. The parasite form that is deadly inside humans cannot survive a mosquito's stomach and is slowly digested with the rest of her blood meal. However, back in the human host, a few of the parasites turned into a different type of cell one that is sexual but remains dormant. Malaria sex is triggered when the warm human blood begins to cool inside the insect's stomach. The female form of parasite matures into an egg.
the male form takes a while longer to mature into sperm. This sperm is from an earlier feed. The fly's cell can glide and begins to explore its new environment. It migrates to the outer lining of the mosquito's stomach before transforming into a cyst. Each cyst produces thousands of thin, tiny parasites which seek out and infest the mosquito's salivary glands. The next time this mosquito bites a victim, the malaria parasite will ride in with her saliva and infect another human.